Okay, we have a 10 interesting integral from the MIT integration B 2022 finals number two. We have the integral from zero to infinity, e to the minus two x times sine three x over x dx. Okay, what I wanna notice on this one is it's exactly set up for us for a Laplace transform. Just recognizing for a Laplace transform, we're gonna have e minus sx times some function. So we'll call this our f of x over here. In the formula, this right here, this is going to be our e minus sx, but what we're saying is our s value is just going to be equal to 2. So the way we can think about this is we can write this as just the Laplace transform of sine 3x over x, and we just need to remember that s is going to be equal to 2. And from here, we can use a couple of useful formulas from our Laplace transform table. If you need a Laplace transform cheat sheet, I have that on my website. And so I'll provide a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. And I also have a playlist on this. So our formula for the Laplace of sine a t is just going to become, it's just going to be a over s squared plus a squared. And the other formula we're going to need for this is a little more complicated. The derivation, the derivation is just a little more tricky. But for this other Laplace transform, this is going to be defined as an integral. We'll have this as the integral from s to infinity of big F of u du. So really the only thing we need to do here is kind of define all the parts and find a way to bring these two together. The key in this formula right here, we're going to want to define our F of t. In this, our F of t is going to be just this sine of 3x. So let's put that down, that this is going to be kind of our starting point. And you'll notice over here that this is a capital F. The way we define this for the big F is it's just going to be in terms of the Laplace transform. So this is going to be the same thing as the Laplace transform of our f of t, which is just sine of 3x. We can get this value using this formula here, where this a value is going to be just 3. So we just plug in, and this is going to become 3 over s squared plus 3 squared, or 9. And now for this part right here, this is going to be basically our whole problem here. We're going to have our f of t, which is sine 3x over x. And then one thing you'll notice when I did this, I set my variable as s, whereas in the formula it's u. That's no problem, is we can just change the variable to u, or I could have just done it in terms of u in the first place. It really doesn't matter. The variables here are just interchangeable dummy variables. So what's gonna happen? We have our integral from s to infinity, put this in terms of u. So this is gonna become three over u squared plus nine du. But now this right here is perfectly set up for our arctan formula. Maybe to make it a little clearer, I can write this as three squared. And we can take this three and bring it out from the integral, right? Bring it out here as a constant. So then integrating this, this is gonna become three arc 10 of just u over this. So u over three, and we're gonna have a one over three in front. Do it like that. And we just need to evaluate from s to infinity. Well, then I can cancel the threes right here. Plug in infinity, the three is not gonna matter. Arc 10 to infinity, that's just gonna be pi over two minus plug in an s. We're just going to leave it. This is just going to be arc 10 s over 3. So this right here is a fine solution if all we wanted was just the Laplace transform of sine 3x over x. But we want to get the exact solution for this integral. So remember, we had this condition that we're saying s is going to be equal to 2. So we'll just take the 2 and plug it back in here. And then this is going to become pi over 2 minus arc 10 of 2 thirds. Now this is okay for a solution, but we can do a little bit better because we have this identity that we can say arctan of x plus arctan of one over x equals pi over two. This here is true when x is greater than zero, but we don't have any problem using that. X is clearly, or one over x, either way, this value is clearly greater than zero right here. And I can rearrange this a little bit if I just subtract arc tan of 1x on both sides, I can write this as pi over 2 minus arc tan of 1 over x. So then noticing our solution here is exactly like this. All I need to do, I can get it in a simpler form just by taking the reciprocal on this 1 over x, just flipping this. So for my final solution of this, we just get arc tan of 3 halves. And that's it. Okay, there you go. Good one today from MIT 2022. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.